What's up, YouTube? This your boy, the King of Kicks. Back. Well, not in the normal setting. Um, <clears throat> this your boy, the King of Kicks. And if you're tuning in for the first time, this is my uh, YouTube channel called All About Souls, where I talk about a little bit about sneakers and a few other things. Um, it's been a minute for my returning subscribers that I did a review. That's only because I'm trying to do some work in this room here, trying to get it together so I can do uh, have a better setting when I do my reviews and stuff. But that does not mean I haven't been able to get any uh, pickups. So... Um, I apologize for being away for a while, you know, life and setting that room up takes some time. But uh, <clears throat> I did get a chance to get a few things, so you, you might start seeing some reviews coming up soon. Um, like I said, if you're new to my channel, do me a favor, um, like and subscribe, uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about the shoes I'm about to show you. And also, you can follow me on uh, IG, uh, the name will be under distinguished underscore kicks. I leave a few things there, you know, pictures and stuff of what I'm wearing daily. <clears throat> so, let me stop talking and uh, let me show you what I picked up. Uh, these came in actually just before, or I think Monday. They came in Monday, right after Easter. Um, I'm so rude. Hope everybody's out there having a blessed day. There you go. So, anyway, let me show you what I got here. As you can see, here's your standard Nike box. Nike Jordan, that is, or Jordan is there in this. Um, standard black box with the gold jump in on the, on the box. Size 12, my size is the Jordan 1 Low G. Varsity red, black, and white. Uh, this is my size, so I'm not going to get rid of these. And you probably already know if you know. Uh, let me open up the box. I'm going to pop the lid back. And as you can see, you're welcome with the standard Jordan paper, number 23 all over. Um, also, I got a card from Nike, which tells me about the warranty information. It says I have the one-year warranty or a two-year limited waterproof warranty. So these are waterproof, so I don't have to really do anything. As you see right here, the card by itself gave it away. So, <clears throat> I am uh, I like to golf. I haven't done it in a while because of COVID and stuff, but now I'm thinking about getting back into it. So I decided to pick these up, and I was surprised that I got them. And I'm going to pull this thing down, let you see. Man, I wish these were high tops, really, the highs. Because I've never seen an actual Chicago in hand. But if, the, if these are close to the original Chicago, man, I might end up getting those reimagines. Because either that or find a way to get the original Chicago's, because these are clean. Um, so let me take this one out. I'm gonna sit this over here, and then I'm gonna take the uh, other one out right here. I wish I had a table, I can actually put it right here in front of me. So, like I said, you got the standard paper number 23 over it. Your box, nothing special. You got the little quality control stamp right here, and I think usually sometimes they put a little quality control stamp right here, also. But that's pretty much all you get inside the, inside the box. And Stick this away. Now let's talk about the shoes. Let's address the elephant in the room. These, I'm telling you, I know they're golf shoes, but these are nice. And um, like I said, I never had the the uh, chance to even hold a Jordan One Chicago. But if the if the materials uh, and the color is the same, I'm, I I like it. I like it a lot. So. Most, most of the time, a lot of people mistake their knees for lows, but they're not. They're golf shoes, and there's a real difference in the two. Um, a lot of you already know that the leather material is about the same as far as Jordan, uh, Jordan ones, but the the difference is the insole and the bottom of the shoe. So let's just start like this. So you, let's start with the toe box. The toe box, you had your standard Jordan and Chicago colors. You had your your red and your white the leather on this is really nice I mean not plasticky it's really nice um, around the lateral side you still have that red going all the way around outlining the the shoe itself <coughs> excuse me Whew. Um, you have the Nike swoosh in black leather with the white stitching going straight through the leather on uh, the black swoosh all the way down uh, on the back of the you still have that nice textured leather uh, with the Jordan wing 
which is stamped into the leather and colored, uh, which is very nice, very nice quality there. On the medial side, you still have the black Nike swoosh, red going all around. Back into the front of the toe box. Midsoles, you have the white midsoles with white stitching in it uh, with the red bottom outsoles. And then that goes all the way around. On the bottom, you have your golfers spikes. Um, but what Nike did was they took the original pattern of a Jordan 1 and they actually raised some of the edges of the detailed outline to make it look like spikes so they can give you more grip so when you're teeing off or when you're on the on the green walking so you have some kind of grip to get the golf ball correct <clears throat> now the tongue itself is a uh, ballistic nylon well nylon itself with the red jump man with the golf I mean red tag with the white jump man with golf on the bottom on the back of the tongue you have that same nylon it's very nice padded very soft and comfortable uh, around the ankle, you have that uh, nylon material on the inside, which is very com comfortable because it's very well padded here and here. Uh, the shoehorn, you know, standard Jordan shoehorn. Like I said, the difference between the Jordan 1 that we're normally used to compared to this one is the insole itself. I don't know why Alexa's talking. Um, the insole is ortholite, which makes it a lot more comfortable. It's very well padded. And if you see right here, you can see kind of a raised outline where my finger is right here. We'll see if I can turn at certain angles. But as you can see, you see the jump man with golf right here. And you can see right there the padding. And you might, if the lighting hit it right, you can see where it says off the light right here. I'm getting tongue tied. Um, same shovel board on the inside. Nothing special. Uh, price wise, I believe I got these for, I think I got them for 110. <coughs> So, oh, and uh, before I forget, you got two types of laces. You got black and you have white. Let me grab the other shoe and I can show you in a second. So I'm going to put this back in here. Um, <clears throat> I think that's going to be messed up. You got the white laces right here. And, you know, you got your standard black laces. I'm going to leave the black laces on the inside. But this is a very clean colorway and like i said i know there's a difference between the golf and the jordan ones but these are more comfortable i wish they put the ortholite um am i saying it right ortholite or ortholite it might, might it might be ortholite 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 i had said it right the last time let me see yeah ortholite they need to put these ortholite insoles inside the jordan ones because these are comfortable i mean i walked in i walked in inside the house and i'm like i was almost ready to take it out and put in my other jordan ones i could wear them today because it's gonna be nice outside but no, I'm just going to get some insoles for it. But anyway, these are nice. I got them for 110 which I'm <coughs> kind of glad because I think the resale value for these went up to almost $200. Um, but I'm going to keep mine because I don't have, uh, I can't find my other golf shoes. And I do like these. And this is the closest I can get to a Jordan 1. So if you're able to get a pair of these, you won't be disappointed if you haven't, haven't had a chance to use them. Now, what I would do when I do go out to play it might be sometime later on the weather here is going to go up and down uh, i'm going to do a um a uh, field test with these on and see give you my thoughts what i think how these perform but other than that oh and they're waterproof so you don't have to treat them so if you spill something on them you could wipe it off that's what the this warranty card is for to let you know yeah um so anyway <clears throat> that is my <clears throat> review on the jordan one low um chicago golf shoes like I say if you get a pair of these you won't be disappointed they're nice I like the way how these the colors pop warehouse style and you could probably get away wearing these all day even if you don't go golfing <clears throat> so yep that's the end of my review and like I said before um, check me out IG distinguished kicks, distinguished kicks underscore uh, distinguished underscore kicks and like I say subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like the review and uh, leave a comment below. I like to hear what y'all talk about these and anything else that's coming up. And uh, I do try to get back with you as soon as possible. I do keep up with the comments. But the videos, that's a whole different beast. But other than that, like I always say at the end of my reviews, aim for something. Miss everything. And stay blessed. Be safe out there. Seems like the numbers are going back up. And y'all know what I'm talking about. We all grown. So I'll watch y'all later. Uh, let me put this back in here. Turn off this camera. Peace. Oh, two more reviews coming up soon. Might be in the same day.